Creativity weaves through everything we do at the Life Changes Trust. When you look beyond all the fun, enjoyment and adventure we associate with creativity, we know that there are powerful stories to be told. Stories of self-expression and confidence, of inclusion and human rights, of relationships and well-being, of voice and vision. It's time to tell those stories. Maren, I would love to ask you, um, what was it like for you to work on this project? Uh, because I know that you've sort of had writing experience of your own. So, yeah, tell us a bit about like what, what, what it was like to kind of put it all together and to kind of curate it as well. Oh, God, it was just such an experience. Um, I mean, personally, emotionally, all the alleys. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just it was so cool. And just to be asked, like, oh, do you want to do the foreword? I was like, me? <laughs> like, me, Maren? <laughs> I was like, of course I will. And then also just having, like, um, the experience of reading all the stories first before they were actually published was such, like, a, oh, my God, like, this is really special. Like, this is really important. Um, I mean, for me, reading it as, like, a care experience young person already, I was, like, like reading all the stories. I was like, I can what they're talking about or can... I, I, can, I can that person or I can like not like physically but like in my mind I know who you are and like also like just seeing yourself and being like I, I like I, I would can that like I would can that person and that and like I just like relate to it so much. So I, what, Marin, I wanted to ask you in the forward you do talk about kind of your experience of creative writing and how it's helped you with your well-being and kind of process your experiences have you got any advice for listeners who maybe haven't tried creative writing before? It can be a bit daunting. Um, where where might they start? Nowadays, you've got so many different, you know, technology wise, like it doesn't have to be pen on paper. You know, open up your notes on your phone. That's what I do now. You know, for everything, I'm like, oh, that's a song that I caught. Oh, that's a, you know, that's like, you know, a good like quote or something, you know, um, and keep it that way. Or even like just record yourself, listen back. Oh my God, what was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but also like, oh, good, right, I can write that down now. So there's like a hundred different ways. And I think just just do it, just start. Like, because like who's going to read it except you? And unless you want to share that because it's so to yourself and it's kind of that like oh nobody else is going to read it so I can just I can put whatever I want so I would say just just go for it whatever method you want just do it. There's a lot of stories told about the care system and children young people that are in care or have that ex experience and a lot of them are inaccurate and uh, and sometimes quite hurtful and actually it's really really important that people with lived experience have got the opportunity to tell their story their way in a way that's that's meaningful for them and really kind of trying to challenge some of that that narrative whilst i did not experience unconditional love firsthand i believe i have been a witness a bystander afraid to breathe for fear the finch might fly away and prove my theory wrong. And yet this finch still feeds its young, returns to nest when night glides in. The birds tell me this love exists, that I was an anomaly, unworthy of this love myself, but allowed to watch through branches. My obsession with acts of love migrated like the birds in spring. Now I'm not watching others' hearts, but gently tapping on my own. First little bristled feathers grow. I'll wait until they let me soar. Whenever we're in a state of free flow, and I think that when your brain in that, whatever it is that your exercises that you do, whatever you do that makes you switch off, I think that that's what it is that we should be doing more of. 
those moments when we when our brain just calms down and we don't hear the bustle and the you know the, the noise of the outside world. So the more experiences we can offer ourselves and the more we can encourage um, those methods of expression and creativity, the calmer we are able to become or the more we're able to see. It's not about quelling that or, or softening it or quieting it. It's about just sitting in peace with that. And sometimes when you do that, the best work comes, I think. And I, I wonder that it's about giving space for those moments.